amid an invasion of Ukraine that is still unfolding, officials say, Russia has now seized control of Chernobyl, site of the world's largest nuclear disaster, a move that could prove catastrophic, experts fear, if the radioactive site were to be damaged in the fighting. The 1986 explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant spewed clouds of radioactive material over the surrounding area and emitted 400 times the radioactivity as the bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. The International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, recognizes the immediate death toll as 31, a number that includes plant workers and firefighters responding to the disaster, though many more people ultimately died as a result of the radiation exposure. The true cost of the disaster remains unknown with reports obtained by time estimating some 4,000 to 90,000 victims. On Thursday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky tweeted, Russian occupation forces are trying to seize Chernobyl. Our defenders are sacrificing their lives so that the tragedy of 1986 will not be repeated. This is a declaration of war against the whole of Europe. The reason for the seizure is unknown, some analysts speculate that it simply has to do with Chernobyl's location, which is directly in the path of Ukraine's capital, Kiev. While the area has long been secured, vast reserves of nuclear waste remain within. If it were to be damaged, that is very, very dangerous, says Dr. Lydia Zablotska, a professor of epidemiology and public health at the University of California, San Francisco. As Zablotska explains to people, a sarcophagus surrounding the nuclear reactors, and providing a shield covering the radiation materials stored at the site, was completed in 2017. But that sarcophagus was set to be torn down by 2023, as it was nearing the end of its shelf life, and a storage site within with drums to hold radioactive materials only began to be filled about a year ago. In other words, the area is not at this moment immune from an explosion, accidental or otherwise. So if there was an explosion at that site, if those particles were released, they would disperse with prevailing winds, Zablotska says. This happened in 1986. Winds were blowing northwest and, radioactive particles, spread out all over northern Europe. Today, there is 30-kilometer Chernobyl exclusion zone around the disaster zone that is largely uninhabitable but does play host to occasional civilian tours. But as Zablotska explains, those drips are brief, and the radioactive hot spots in the exclusion zone are unevenly distributed, raising the possibility that someone who doesn't know what they're doing, or is unfamiliar with the area, could cause significant damage, even by accident. While Zablotska acknowledges it's currently unclear what Russian intentions are with the site or surrounding area, she worries what could happen to the radioactive material, even unintentionally. People who don't know what they are doing, if they try to interfere with the sarcophagus or storage facilities, it could expose people to high doses of radiation, she says. The sarcophagus is built to withstand hurricanes so it's built, to be, very, very safe and solid, but of course it could be undermined by direct explosions. Zablotska says there are also risks to the well-being of the scientists who work to maintain the site day to day. There is a staff who is maintaining, monitoring, dedicated their lives to protecting it, and I worry about them in all this, she says. This is the, the most contaminated site in the world.
By some accounts, those scientists were not at work on Thursday. The spokeswoman for the State Agency of Ukraine on Exclusion Zone Management, Yevgenia Kuznetsov, told CNN on Thursday, When I came to the office today in the morning, it turned out that the Chernobyl nuclear power plant management had left. So there was no one to give instructions or defend. The nuclear power plant is less than 60 miles from Ukraine's capital of Kiev, a city of 2.8 million people that's faced increasing threats since Russia began its invasion of the country early Thursday. The Russian attack on Ukraine is an evolving story, with information changing quickly. Follow people's complete coverage of the war here, including stories from citizens on the ground and ways to help. Use to watch the